hello guys and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be sharing simple recipe my beef and pepper steak chef what chicken i love you so much every day even in the when it comes to beef and pepper steak it's one of my go comfort food that i love to make and it's so easy to make so we'll start by peeling our fresh garlic i mean if you have the powdered garlic is also optional once done peeling my garlic i chopped it into thin slice i mean i want to see some of my garlic when my beef and pepper steak after chopping my garlic dice my ginger as well also you can use the ginger powder or you can use the puree ginger which is the fresh ginger puree form so once i'm done dicing my ginger and garlic i put that in a bowl and i start by cutting my green onion green onions is also okay for use to use for your Once I'm done chopping my green onion, I start by cutting my vegetable. So with the vegetable, I'm using the red bell pepper, the green bell pepper, as well as the yellow bell pepper, as well with my red onions. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell for any update so i start by dicing my onion i'm chopping all in a uniform form as the same size because i don't want my vegetable very thin slice i want it a little bit bigger called the bite size so once i'm done chopping my vegetable I put that in a bowl and I set my vegetable aside and I mean even with the vegetable itself it looks so colorful and amazing you can easily eat that alone so now I have my ginger and garlic in a bowl and that is how it's supposed to look make sure it's very thin sliced ginger so I will be using steak and this steak is already thin sliced if you go to in a grocery shop or grocery store and go to the meat aisle i'm using the thin slice steak this is done and you can easily buy that you can also use the steak itself but with the steak will take longer to cook than the thin slice steak so just rough chop your steak you don't want to chop it very thin you just want to chop it a little bit bigger because once it cooks it shrinks into little so if you chop your steak little you're gonna have very little steaks in your pepper steak as well put your steak in a bowl and we're gonna be adding our ingredient to marinate our pepper steak So I add my fresh ginger and garlic as I said before the powdered ginger is okay with that I added my green onion chop and I added my fresh teaspoon of ginger I added my the left onions that I took from the original one and then I added with the pepper flake I added my soy sauce as well as my oyster duck sauce to marinate steak i mean this smells so good with the soy sauce it's too salty so i don't like putting salt with our steak i added a teaspoon of pepper flakes as well as chai for our seasoning these are so good to use and it will make your steak taste so amazing i added a teaspoon of cornstarch just to stuff in our steak I added a teaspoon or a couple of spoons of oil and after I combine our 
stick with our mirroring. I mean, you can do this ahead of time or you can do it a previous day and set it in the refrigerator to marinate well before cooking it. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. So with a stick, sometimes you can just put it in a pan and cook it. But I decided to grill my stick in the oven because I want to taste the smoke when you bake something and have that in your stick is amazing. Whichever way you like it, you can. Now I put it in the oven for 20 minutes and this is how it looks. So now I turn the oven off and I put my stick back to cook well. So with that, I start with a teaspoon of butter and a teaspoon of ginger on a high heat. Because I'm looking for that burnt flavor and with the ginger, makes it smell so good i added a teaspoon of oil to marinate and i left my ginger and garlic with our puree ginger to marinate with the butter i mean it smells so good again don't forget to like the video don't forget to share so now i'm using the broth from our steak that i baked in the oven with that had the cornstarch so you don't have to add any cornstarch and as you can see our sauce is already thickened because i can smell the fresh ginger i can smell the garlic and i'm telling you it smells so good so now reduce the fat stove and then add your vegetable and stir it slowly and allow it to cook gently our beef and pepper steak is almost done and i added my leftover green onion that I chopped. I mean, the vegetable smells so good. Don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I added a pinch of salt for more flavor. So with that, I added a teaspoon of chili powder because I want to feel the heat in our steak. I don't want whereby without the heat when you eat the steak, you can feel types of nausea in your throat. I want you to be able to taste the heat and the steak and the sauce, our ginger and garlic, and it smells so amazing. So if you don't like the pepper, uh, the pepper, don't add the pepper or the chili powder with your steak and pepper. So now I added my steak with our vegetable and our steak is almost done. It smells so amazing. So cover and allow it to cook on a medium heat. And there you have our beef and pepper steak is done. Sometimes the beef and pepper steak normally serves with rice, but I don't want to use rice. I want to use our nani bread. This bread is locally found at most Indian store or you can find it at any grocery store when you go to the bread and it's very soft to use and I'm telling you once you try this with your beef and pepper steak you will never even think about using pepper steak and rice you always want to try it with the nani bread And let's dig in with a glass of wine. Come over to my table and let's enjoy our pepper steak with our nani bread. And it tastes so amazing. I hope you tried this recipe and I'll see you. Bye.